Hey everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. I'm on the road right now, coming back from a public safety conference in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. And quite by accident, I happened to stumble across another event taking place at the venue where I was at. A uh, bunch, a number of GM executives were making presentations to some public safety and transportation agencies up in Massachusetts. And what was in the parking lot but a hydrogen-powered Chevy Equinox. So. Uh, in between sessions, I took uh, an opportunity to to grab these videos in case they wouldn't let me take any videos and post them online afterwards. But uh, as you'll see in an upcoming portion of this clip, the GM executive that I spoke to had no problems with me putting any of this online. He gave me permission to uh, snap a few photos. And uh, it is a petroleum-free vehicle powered by a fuel cell with zero emissions. Now one one of the things I wasn't sure if they let me show you was the underside of this car. That was one of the reasons I was sort of sneaking around. And uh, you're going to get a peek underneath underneath the carriage of this car. But I wanted to, to let you know that the executive that I spoke to said that they are leasing these now, believe it or not. There are just very few early adopters simply because there aren't any hydrogen filling stations. And the uh, what holds the ba what holds them back from deployment is the inf building out of the infrastructure for hydrogen fueling s stations. Uh, I wanted to show you the gauge cluster here inside because uh, you'll notice it is a, a standard looking gauge cluster. There is a temperature gauge and a standard fuel gauge on the dashboard, which actually in this vehicle aren't even being used. They are uh, legacy left over from the conversion on this vehicle. Um, as I was saying, the the uh, Deployment is, the, according to the GM executive, limited by the uh, build-out of the hydrogen infrastructure and the cost per mile for the, for the energy content of the hydrogen that goes into it is approximately the same as gasoline. Um, it is powered by a three-phase induction motor and there's also uh, regen capabilities on the braking into a 1.6 kilowatt NICAD battery pack so they do recover some of the braking energy as well. Now underneath the car here, this is what I wasn't sure they would let me take a picture of, so that I got, got this beforehand. You can see the battery packs and uh, towards the front we're looking at the underside of the actual hydrogen fuel cell. You'll see how it's bolted together there and we're sweeping around back to the to the rear of the car. The in, in the foreground is the exhaust for the water emissions and excess heat from the hydrogen fuel cell. So there's your sneak peek of the undercarriage of the hydrogen powered Chevy Equinox. Uh, China where it's very human and over in Europe and in Germany where it's cold, you're looking at all the different operating parameters of the typical vehicle and then you're looking at the hours that it lasts. We've got uh, this I actually had a higher mile sits on the top, AC induction to allow frequency control, and then DC current going down to that. And it just runs all the wheels in there? Yeah, well, in this case, it's just a front wheel drive. We made a front wheel drive crossover out of it. The applications it's in, for the most part, it does postal routes in Washington, D.C. and one uh, Southern California. Harbor driving anything other than a, a vehicle they're familiar with, and everything in there is familiar. The only difference is the tachometer is a kilowatt gauge. But that's even conventional. There's not a lot of unconventional. We yeah, left sure, the key to be cycled forward, so there's not a lot of things. When you get in here, even the transmission, there is no transmission select uh, to, to gear to select, but we left a transmission selector that's very familiar to you. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. All you're doing is changing electrons. And okay. the battery allows the low Switching range. the polarity on the, on the motor. So it's all you're doing is changing the direction of the electric motor. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to do much good. Totally electric. Huh. So other than that, you know, we could have made it drastically different. I mean, it cost us as much to put that instrument cluster with the kilowatt gauge and a hydrogen fuel gauge as it would have to design an instrument cluster that was very 
LCD and had readouts of, of operational characteristics of the vehicle, so on and so forth. But we want it so that when you get in there, you're not thinking, geez, I don't know how to drive this thing, I don't know what to do with it. Is this totally gas-free? Yes. 